us very good lawyers because as you currently know, there is a differentiating um, opinion about the judicial system. Like there's corruption in the judicial system. So um, I'm asking if, do you think it would be beneficial to entirely shift to an alternative lawyering system instead of the current traditional system that we have into um, engaging just corporation, um, the big stuff that we have. I wouldn't want all lawyers to just focus on the work of alternative lawyering because the nation might collapse. <laughs> we will still need, need lawyers for corporations. We, we, there are many ways of lawyering. And what we are saying is alternative lawyering should be considered as one of the mainstream works of lawyering. So we're not saying that to do away with other forms of lawyering. These are also very important to our justice system, to, to the survival of our country. So what we are saying is these, these are good forms of lawyering and they help nation building. And another way also is doing this kind of lawyering. And all of them, without discrimination, should be treated with high regard because all of them play a role in addressing the poverty challenge and in building the nation. I have a short answer. The problem is not the small number of alternative lawyers, but the big number of lawyers who cause injustice. Marginalized. What is? What are the elements to make a group marginalized? Um, You're asking our professors to recite this time. Do huh? <laughs> <laughs> you have a class card with you? <laughs> you have to grade them. <laughs> okay, who will take the first shot? Get ready with your cards, huh? <laughs> I think that is a question better addressed to the Supreme Court and to Congress. Because the problem with the state is precisely who are considered marginalized and underprivileged because these, these are the ones who are entitled to participate in the party list system. And if you look at uh, the way that the party list system law is being implemented, it is not clear even to the commonest who are marginalized or underprivileged groups. And that is why 100, I think 50 plus party list groups have already been accredited. And many of them are questionable. I don't have to name uh, these groups, but they, I do not think they are marginalized. So uh, the party list system is really meant to give those who belong to the socially excluded sectors of society a voice in our uh, party system. But from my understanding, it was meant to be temporary because in the end, once they have acquired the necessary strength, they should be able to compete against all the other traditional parties in an open system. So for me, the party list system should be looked at as a transition system. Because what we want is a system in the end where, where whether you belong to marginalized groups or these traditional parties, you can compete against each other uh, in a normal system. Okay, going beyond the technical meaning of uh, the, the term marginalized in, in, in relation to the party list uh, system, we can look at it as a question of power. What do you have power? Are you vulnerable in relation to a particular, to another group? For example, a woman, even if that woman may be rich, may be employed, a woman may be a manager, but in relation to a husband or a partner, may be powerless and may be vulnerable. In that sense, she is marginalized. Uh, there are some groups who are definitely not marginalized. The Sabongueros are not marginalized. 
the LPG Marketers Association. They are. <laughs> I I don't think they are. They are. They they have uh, uh, vulnerabilities uh, uh, compared to other other sectors. But but there are laws, for example, uh, that recognize uh, different sectors. The National Anti-Poverty Commission, uh, the law creating the National Anti-Poverty Commission, uh, as an example, lists down at least 13 marginalized sectors. By definition, you said that alternative lawyering is using law as a tool for get, bringing about justice. And I think you will agree with me that this is not just uh, the job of lawyers. So my question would be, what would people like us who are not in your profession, what can we do to be of help to this adult? That's, that's, that's correct. In fact, we are saying that all of us should be lawyers. In, in, in a sense, because first, we should know our rights. We should know when our rights are violated. We should be able to help those around us, our immediate family, our employees, for example, uh, our friends, relatives, to know their rights, to know the law, and, and, and know what they can do, uh, what they can do uh, in case of